Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me here today. I feel like it's been a while since I've come on here and filmed something for you guys. All the videos you guys have been seeing lately has been like pre-filmed beforehand, so for the month of September there really wasn't a whole lot of filming. But today I am filming the video that kind of showcases you guys everything that I purchased on my trip to Malaysia and Singapore. A quick just note here before I get started, everything I think was purchased in Malaysia because of the exchange rate. In Canada, our Canadian currency actually is worth approximately three times more than like, so let's say one Canadian dollar can buy, like is equivalent to three point something Kuala Lumpur currency. I don't remember what their currency is called. But anyways, so the currency exchange is a lot better in Malaysia versus in Singapore, which is almost equivalent. So we definitely did more shopping in um, Malaysia. And then in Singapore, we just kind of went there for the experience of it all. But yeah, I'm going to get straight into showing you guys everything that I purchased. It's not a whole lot, but there are a couple of luxury purchases as you guys can see from behind me. And you guys, I know there's a lot of you guys that have been waiting for my travel vlog. I did vlog while I was on the trip. I don't know how well everything turned out, but I haven't gotten around to going around and editing it yet because it's a lot of footages, a lot of footages, a lot of footage, and school has just picked up again because I am a school teacher and things have been crazy. So just watch, I will probably get it edited and ready to go in like December, but regardless, it will be coming eventually, just not quite yet. Anyways, let's get straight into what I purchased when we were in Asia. So this is again Malaysia. I'm just going to start off with I think what I remember as one of the first things that I purchased. So when I went over to Malaysia, there were smalls everywhere. Like so if you've been to places like that before, you know that they literally have mega shopping malls everywhere you go, at least in like the main central parts of the city, like downtown area kind of thing, the more metropolitan areas. Those shopping malls literally have like 10 floors, four below ground, six above ground, and they are just incredibly massive anything that you could ever need is all in there it's just insane luxury brands everywhere that was my dream anyways so I'm going to get started um this as I said like three times already the first stop I went into was I think it was the face shop if I'm not mistaken so the first thing I went and checked out was the belief aqua bomb jelly cleanser this is one of my favorite facial cleansers. I actually purchased two of them. One's in my shower right now and it is a massive jelly cleanser. It is so good. I have combination skin and I've used this before. It's just like a jelly cleanser. Very gentle on the skin. It doesn't strip your skin of moisture but it cleans off your makeup really well and it just feels and smells really really nice. I've used this for a while now so I went and bought two backups because I didn't bring one over to my Asia trip and I wanted to use it during my trip because I took so many showers there every day it was like two showers a day because of how hot and humid and sweaty I got so it was always like we would go out in the morning come back mid-afternoon take a shower and then head out again in the evening for our other plans it was crazy so I bought the aqua jelly bomb yeah, Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I got two of these in the large size and they were having a promotion so then you could buy a third item and there was a deal or something. So I also purchased the Belief. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is really, is it not going to focus? Okay, it's the Belief Aqua Bomb Vita Water Cream. So Belief has their original water cream in like it has like the blue this is like a yellow um, this one actually contains it's a newer version the lady at the store was telling me this one has vitamin C vitamin E and a few hyaluronic acids in here which is obviously really good for moisturization so I purchased this as well to try out while I was in Asia I needed a lightweight um, moisturizer for daily use while I was over there and my super thick creams just were too much for the climate over there so I switched over to this one while I was there and I haven't stopped using it since in fact I am nearly like it's getting there it's getting to be quite empty I've got maybe 25 20% 20 left but I do really like this so I got yeah the belief products which I love and I've been using them every day since I purchased them and then I went over to Laneige. If you are at all interested in makeup and you are interested in Korean or Asian makeup, you are aware, probably aware, that 
Asian beauty is really big on BB creams and I've always wanted to find a BB cream that I liked. Well, like a compact cushion is what I mean, not a BB cream, sorry, a cushion compact. So I've always wanted to find a cushion compact that works well for me because I find that I hate the feeling of foundation on my skin. If any of you guys feel the same way, let me know down in the comment section because I absolutely hate the feeling of foundation on my skin. I always just use concealer to conceal and then a powder over top. I don't ever use foundation. I haven't for years. Even though I own several, I just don't use it. So I thought I would pop into Laneige because those of you girlies that live in Canada know that it is really hard to find cushion compacts that come in a darker shade. They are usually so 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 fair and I'm not exactly the fairest person and I don't shy away from the sun in the summer So I do get darker in the summer as well. So I went into Laneige and I found The Neo, let me just read the name of this, the Laneige Neo Cushion Matte Formula. They have a glowy version which comes in the pink containers and the packaging. I went for the matte version because I am, again, combination skin and I just thought it would be a little bit more suitable for my skin type. If you have dry skin type, maybe you would like the glowy version more. But I finally, like they had a dedicated Laneige store which we don't have, at least not where I live. I don't know if the rest of Canada, I don't even think they do. Anyways, they had like the whole range of Laneige products, including these cushion compacts. And I got so excited. I got into the store and I started immediately like trying on shades. They had the entire range there. And obviously they had their very light shades, which you find, you know, online here and there from different stores and different retailers that sell Laneige cushion compacts. But a lot of times their shades are very limited or they're sold out or they're very, very light. The darker shades are usually all sold out. I've tried, trust me, I've tried looking but I found the shade that actually matches me at least for my summer color it's what I'm wearing right now and it literally lasts all day it is the most beautiful thing so I got mine in the shade 31N also known as brown I would hardly consider this brown but it looks like this in the container and when you open it up it looks like any typical um, cushion oh sorry any sort of typical cushion um, compact it's got that cushion you know applicator and it's very well loved I use it literally every single day and it just looks like this inside I have been loving this I have started using this when I was in Malaysia and I haven't stopped in Malaysia this was like one of the only skin products besides blush that I applied on my face all day and you know with it being so hot humid over there I literally my makeup looked incredible my skin looked incredible the best thing about this is that it does have SPF built in it's got SPF of 42 PA++ I have been using this every single day ever since I bought it and I have been loving it so much the best thing is when I purchased this it actually comes with a refill compact so when I run out I have one more compact to fill it with so I should be set for a while but your girl found that she loved it so much after I started using it for several days because I went to um, we went on a hike into the mountains into Batu Caves so it's a basically um, like a, is a Hindu sorry if I get it wrong but it's a temple in the mountains in the jungle of Malaysia and it was blistering hot that day and I remember I put this on a little bit of um, cream blush and that was all I had on my face all day. We climbed up the 200 and something stairs, which isn't even that much, but in the blistering heat and the humidity, it was brutal. I don't think I've ever sweat that much in my life. If I, when I eventually get to uploading my vlog, you will see in the video how shiny I looked and I just was dripping, completely dripping in sweat. My skin was just having this and it looked incredible. It didn't rub off um, despite me sweating and the humidity. It didn't blotch, get blotchy. It didn't, you know, start getting patchy. It was beautiful. It was seamless. It was, I just, after that, I was, I was completely sold. So after that, I went and purchased my, a lighter shade. I haven't actually opened this yet because I mean my like if you look at my neck color and my face color it still matches quite well um, but I'm sure that as we go further into fall and 
into winter, um, my skin's gonna lighten up and I bought a lighter shade. This is the 25N, which is also known as tan, but that's more so going to be my winter lighter color. But if you're interested, maybe I could upload a video, film a video of me doing my makeup using it one day and just to demonstrate. That was a lot, I'm sorry. That, I just love it so much. I went ahead and I was doing my thing and when I went and got, or finally arrived in Malaysia, I had recently gotten hair haircut and I thought that it was my haircut that was looking wrong because I didn't know how to style it and my hair looked funny. At the end of the day I realized it was the humidity. I tried to combat it so I tried purchasing while I was there. There were Sephora stores in Kuala Lumpur and Singapore but in Kuala Lumpur I went into Sephora and I was dying. I was looking for any sort of oils or anything to just combat, combat the frizz of my hair because my hair had never been frizzy before in my entire life and I couldn't for the life of me figure out for the first few days what was wrong with my hair. So I went in and I bought this Farewell Frizz Rose Hip Argan and Coconut Oil Blend Oil. Honestly, I haven't used this since I have come back into Canada. It, my hair has been perfectly fine since and it is heavy. It is, you only need a few drops. So if you are trying to fight frizz, I mean, this does help. Quite frankly, I used this and one of my um, leave-in conditioners after I got out of the shower while I was there. And then I would just put everything up into a ponytail and slick it back. And then I'd hairspray so much just to fight the frizz. So I don't know if this actually helped that much while I was there. And like I said, I'm not really using it while I'm here. So I'm just, I just bought this. Another thing that I purchased to try to combat the frizz was a round brush. This is the GHD size 2 ceramic round brush. I was looking for a bigger one, a more round one, so that I could give myself like a proper blowout, but it just, like I said, it wasn't working. It was just my hair didn't like the humidity over there. Those are the th beauty things that I purchased while I was in Kuala Lumpur. I have three more things to show you, two of which are behind me, as you can see. Um, one is this here, Charles and Keith. Now in Canada, we do not have the luxury of having Charles and Keith stores at least not where I am so when I was in Asia and Charles and Keith was literally everywhere I had to stop and look and I was seriously impressed their shoes and their handbags are so cute and their quality is so good pricing's very reasonable as well so obviously I had to pick myself up a pair of shoes I haven't worn these yet and I probably won't until next spring summer but I picked up this beautiful pair of white sandal, open toe sandals, and they're very comfortable, they're very smushy, they have like this padding in here, it's leather, it's just beautiful, and it was very well priced. I don't remember the exact conver conversion of it, but it was definitely less, less than like 60, 70 bucks Canadian dollars, and like I said, these are leather, and they're just very, very good quality. They had so many handbags that I actually wanted to buy as well, but I couldn't justify it because I already have so many handbags, and um, you'll see later on that I did purchase one there that I'm gonna show you guys. So. That is another purchase that I made while I was in Asia. Okay, I can finally get to the final two, probably most exciting purchases I made in Malaysia. While we were in Malaysia, we were staying at a hotel very, very close. It was like a five to 10 minute max walk to one of the, their most well-known bougiest uh, malls that they have there. It's called the Pavilion and we literally could walk there. It was so close. We went there several times because it was an enormous mall with multi levels and they're well known for having like tons of luxury brands. You name it, they've pretty much got it. And I was very lucky, uh, made my first Cartier purchase. This is just the most exciting thing. We went into Cartier, they had a two level Cartier store in that mall, it's incredible. I've been eyeing this piece for years. It's probably been two or three years since it's caught my eye. I've wanted it and I've even tried searching for it at uh, my own city here. But when I went in and asked them here at home, they said that they don't actually carry this piece in store that you'd have to order it online. And so I just never bothered, but I figured while I was in Asia, I was like, oh, they have this multi-level store. They must carry it. And certainly they did. I was able to go in. The sales lady was wonderfully nice. We were able to try on the sizes that I like, the colors that I like, try it on and actually see what worked out. And the best part is in Malaysia, what I don't know about right now, but like at least when we were there in August, which was a month ago, they don't have a sales tax. So we were able to save 
100 $150 compared to ordering this and purchasing purchasing this in Canada so we still saved money on this with the exchange rate and with the fact that there was no sales tax it was incredible because the Cartier sales lady she was telling us that the government there was trying to introduce a new tax system and so originally their taxes were at like five or six percent sales tax but um, because they're trying to implement something new they just kind of got rid of taxes for the time being and I was like what so we were able to buy all these things without paying taxes it was incredible anyways I'm opening up the box and this is obviously the most luxurious jewelry box ever and if you can guess what this is let me know but I've been eyeing this piece for so long I'm very into dainty jewelry and here it is I don't know if you got yeah there you go this is the Cartier D'Amour necklace and I got this in the medium size this is not the large this is not the small I got this or the extra small I think so they have extra small small and a large there's no medium for some reason the sizing is weird and when they say the sizing it actually affects the diamond size that is in here and also the chain um, thickness I tried on the extra small thinking oh I love dainty jewelry I would really like the extra small but it was too thin in fact even the sales lady said it's very delicate because when you go down to the extra small size the chain actually gets even more thin and more delicate so me wanting to wear this every day i didn't want something that was overly delicate i also tried on the large the large again the chain is ever so slightly thicker the diamond is obviously larger as well but i didn't like that look either so i went for the medium and it is beautiful i've been wearing it every day i take it off during showers but other than that um i've been wearing it every day i obviously got it in the gold and the diamond in the center they come in like the platinum I think as well but I just I love gold jewelry so this has been <laughs> I have been so excited this is beautiful um, and um, it's just I was so excited I literally was so excited that I finally got my hands on this so I've been wearing it every single day and I love it to death after purchasing this that was the one day we went back to the hotel um, because obviously I was exhausted from all the shopping and then um, I did my math because we went actually stopped in the Loewe Bay store I think possibly on the same day as this I don't remember honestly we went there several times I was looking at their bags in Loewe Bay in Canada you guys all know that or if you guys are into handbags I'm sure you guys are aware that Loewe Bay is not exactly an inexpensive brand I mean it's doesn't have many handbags below the $3,000 Canadian mark and so when I was looking I wasn't sure I my we didn't have internet working that day on our phones and I wasn't able to look up the exact conversion with the tax and everything like that so we looked around in Loewe and then we went back to the hotel and that night I couldn't stop thinking about this bag so I did my math and I did my conversions while we were back at the hotel and I realized that if I was to purchase this bag here in Canada, I would be paying an extra, let me just look this up, three, four hundred dollars, I think. I have actually like literally a, a note on my phone because I wanted to make sure that I was actually getting a good deal if I was purchasing this bag overseas. Okay, so I saved about $400 buying this bag in Malaysia because there was no sales tax and because of the conversion, I was able to save money. And so I'm going to open this up and show you guys. It didn't come with a box. It is obviously again from Loewe. It came with this massive magazine, which I obviously brought back with me. Um, I just threw it in my suitcase. And inside is this bag in this dust bag. This bag I've been eyeing for several years. Um, it's a classic. Let me know if you know what it is or I can guess. But here it is. I got the mini puzzle bag in the tan color and this is the smooth leather I didn't want the pebbled leather because it started to look like a basketball when I was researching the prices uh, and the price differences I was also looking up uh, review videos making sure that I wouldn't regret this purchase and there was someone on YouTube who said the pebbled leather in this tan color reminded them of a basketball and I couldn't unsee it after that so when I went back into the store the next day and I came to the decision I'm buying this I decided I wanted the smooth leather so it's more of a smooth leather it's not perfectly smooth but it's not as grainy as the other one and I just love it again this is in the mini size 
The strap, I was a little bit concerned about this because the strap is non-adjustable. It is removable, but it's not adjustable. And I'm not exactly the tallest person. I am 5'3", five, 5'4", five, on a good day. And I like my bags to not sit too, too low on my hips and down to like my upper thigh. That's, to me, it looks awkward. So when I was looking this up, there were videos of people that taught you how to tie this in some sort of braid to shorten the strap. I don't like to do that because I feel like that would over time damage the leather and you know the piping on the side so I just figured I would wrap it around when I hooked it I would wrap it around and then hook it on the other side it looks slightly funky but I mean I don't really mind it to be honest it doesn't bother me and like it shortens the strap perfectly fine without having to damage the straps so if you are someone who is looking at this bag or you're thinking oh this bag is not adjustable in terms of the strap length just wrap it around a few times and it shortens the strap a little bit and it works perfectly fine on me after this but i love this bag so much i used it immediately after i purchased it and it worked so well with my outfits that i planned when we were in asia but this i used almost every day after i bought it because it was just such a good size it carried everything that i needed there were some days when if i wanted to carry my vlog camera which i'm obviously using right now it was a little bit of a tighter fit but it fits my vlog camera it fits my phone it fits like a lippy like it, just everything that i just need the necessities and you think it's so small but it's small but it's mighty i was contemplating between like the larger size i think it's a small size but it was just too big this bag has literally been amazing i love the color it's this rich deep caramel tan color and it's just beautiful i love it so much and the fact that i don't see this very often back it like at home here where i live i love that about it not a whole lot of people carry loewe bags and if i do see it from time to time it's usually the medium or the larger sizes i've only ever seen one other woman carrying this exact same bag exact same color everything in sephora a few weeks ago that's the only time i've ever seen it but other than that i've never seen this bag out and about so i love it so much so let me just do the math here i literally have this on my phone I did the conversions on the different bags I looked at the mini hammock I looked at the mini gate I was actually comparing prices across the board for many of the handbags I had my eyes on and in this bag so I paid over in Malaysia equivalent to Canadian dollars two thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars forty six cents with a conversion no sales tax if I was to purchase this in Canada it 3150 and I can't remember if this is before or after taxes but regardless I'm saving several hundred dollars just purchasing this overseas so if you're from Canada and you're heading over to Malaysia and you're into these sort of luxury handbags luxury goods I would highly recommend you looking into the conversion rates and seeing if it's worth it I don't know right now if their sales tax is still completely wiped clean right now but if it is even more reason for you to look into it. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this really chatty, really ranty video. And if you guys did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to join our little growing community. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.